video we said that we haven't been on YouTube for quite a while. I've missed YouTube but everything has changed. I don't get how comments work, we don't get any notifications for people who subscribe to us um, and everyone's given a shit about Google Plus which to be honest, nobody expected. I said on Twitter how I frequently have over a hundred videos in my sub box to watch, and it gives me genuine anxiety. This anxiety feels worse than waking up in a stranger's bathtub, your naked body covered in Vaseline, with the phrase Gangbang Queen 2013 written across your breasts and lipstick. That was me. <laughs> my bum is really itchy. Shush. <laughs> Leading on from useless anxiety, we got a book for Christmas on all the ways to deal with the worst case scenario. I got this from my boyfriend who's obviously sick of me jumping to the worst case scenario and dealing with my outrageous anxieties. Let's go for a coffee. What if there's snakes? There won't be any snakes. How do you know? Everybody knows. I'll wear this stainless steel trouser and shoe combination just in case. So I thought I'd let you into the secrets of this book, just in case snakes in your local costa, among other things, is a frequent problem that occurs. How to survive a poisonous snake attack. We've all been there. Enjoying a hot, fresh vanilla latte in your favourite local barista palace. That rhymes with, I've lost ya. Suddenly, an eastern brown snake slithers silently across the polished floor. He's thirsty, looking for a coffee fix. What's your poison? Another snake asks. Unfortunately for you, the snake replies, Vanilla latte. He strikes your ankle, your bit. What do you do? <laughs> because poisonous snakes can be difficult to identify, the best way to avoid a snake attack if you can is to just leave all snakes alone. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Don't call the snake bad names because snakes are very sensitive animals. They've got cute mouths. And if you talk about their faces, they're going to be angry at you. Don't get them to bite you. <laughs> the first thing to do if you get a snake bite is wash it with soap and water. Seeing as you're in a costa, you might not be able to get that, so just use milk. Immobilise the bitten area and keep it below the heart. If you've been bitten on your neck or your face, it's going to be a bit difficult to do that, so stand upside down. It's like if somebody's had a medical bite, they will go onto YouTube and search and then find out a video and then it'll be like the most helpful video. <laughs> Immediately wrap a bandage about two to four inches above the bite uh, if you can't get medical treatment in the next 30 minutes. The bandage should not cut off blood supply though. It should be loose enough to fit a finger in or two. <laughs> Or five. <laughs> if you have a first aid kit equipped with a suction device, follow the instructions to help uh, draw the venom out of the wound. I've never seen a first aid kit with a suction device in it. I have a suction device, not a tear. <laughs> Do not place any ice or a cooling element on the bite, it will make it much harder to take the venom out. Finally, don't go to your local Costa, for they are notorious for their snakes. End this on board of snakes. How to take a punch. We've all been there. Trapped and bored at a kid's party. You had to take your niece, but you've been alone for one hour and 42 minutes now, and your patience has withered. You head for the cake for some last minute comfort. A child with its youthful agility gets there first. That's okay, there's two bits of cake left. Unfortunately, he eats both. You're livid. He looks at you, his breathing incapacitated by the spongy goodness. You shout, you can't fit the last two pieces in your mouth, you fat fuck. You immediately feel terrible, but remorse will not save you now. His dad overhears and walks menacingly towards you. There's no more kick. You're kidding me, he says as he walks away. Phew, except not. The kid is ready to fight. What do you do? If somebody's going to punch you in the stomach, you have to tighten your stomach muscles. This is actually one of the punches that is easiest to knock someone out. It's how Harry Houdini died. Really? So, can't get himself out of that one. Who's Houdini? Do not suck your stomach in if you're expecting a punch, because that could actually help damage your organs. Unless you want to look really thin while you're being punched, I don't recommend it. If possible, shift slightly so that the punch gets your side. Try to get your obliques, with a set of muscles at your side, to absorb the blow. I don't like saying blow. You may crack a rib, but it's a lot better than damaging internal organs. 
So if somebody's gonna punch you in the head, you need to take extreme precautions. Move towards the punch, not away from it, because you could jerk your head and it could cause the brain to flap inside and then you could die. This is genuine advice, like this could save your life. Yeah, don't take it as nothing, okay? You don't want your jaw to dislocate or break, so clench your jaw, tighten your neck muscles, and ensure that you're just... Uh, Make that face if possible. Uh, 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 A straight punch. If someone's gonna punch you in the face... Whoa! <laughs> I'm really, really sorry, but you didn't move towards the punch, did you? You moved away from it. That's not what you should do. It says in here, a punch can be absorbed most effectively and with the least injury by the forehead. Avoid taking a punch in the nose, which is extremely painful. If you can avoid a punch in the nose, avoid the punch in the first place. <laughs> Optional, hit back with an uppercut or a roundhouse. <laughs> so in conclusion, for all of the things that we've talked about, the first thing that you need to know is not to go out of your house. Don't put yourselves in these situations. Don't have fun, don't have relationships, just stay at home and you won't get hurt. Anyway, so this is the oh, booking shit, question. Terry. So this is the booking question and it's got a lot more detail than what we uh, shared with you today. There's other things like how to treat frostbite, how to leap from a motorcycle to a car, how to hotwire a car, how to break into a car, <laughs> how to buy a car, how to drive a car, <laughs> how to be a car, <laughs> how to have sex with a car. No! So it's called The Worst Case Scenario Handbook and it's by Joshua Piven and David Borgenkitnik. Borgenik. Borgenik. David Borgenik is an orc. Borgenik. David Borgenik. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, check out our other videos. Like it if you liked it and talk to us in the comments if you want. Uh, have a really good day. See you later. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> what was that?